हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द थर्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज सिमुलेशन ऑफ पीसीएम सिस्टम यूजिंग मैटलैब सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल ट्राई टू सिमुलेट ए पीसीएम सिस्टम यूजिंग मैटलैब ओके सो हियर इज द करस्पॉन्डिंग प्रोग्राम कोड वेयर यू कैन सी uh that is the clc close on and clear all all these function are uh, help to clear your memory and also help to clear the corresponding uh corresponding screen of or command window of the matlab okay so first of all let's run then we will explain step by step procedure okay so whenever we run the first input which have appeared at the command window of the matlab is enter n value for n bit pcm that means how many uh, number of bit for pcm that should be given as input to the system so suppose we give as uh, like 4 okay 4 means uh, number of bits to encode a voltage level that is 4 okay so that means we uh, after quantization to x uh, to encode a particular voltage level we need minimum four number of bits okay so enter the number of sample in a period that is the sampling frequency okay so suppose uh, here we can select as uh, suppose 10 okay so if we keep enter so here you can see that there is corresponding two figure have been appeared first figure showing analog signal second figure showing the corresponding sample signal third figure showing the corresponding quantized version of the analog signal and this one is the corresponding encoded version and after that uh, from the encoded signal we can demodule we can reconstruct the signal like this okay so uh, let's coming to the code again so basically we want to simulate a pcm system as we know that a pcm system have uh, has a has three main parts first of all uh, sampling portion second one is the quantization and third one is the binary encoding so uh, initially what we need to do we need to uh, discretize the cor corresponding analog continuous signal then after that will uh quantize the signal that means we can uh define finite number of voltage level so that we can encode finite number of voltage level into corresponding binary coded okay so here you can see that first of all this one this comma input means whenever we will run this program in the computer screen there will be Uh, this line will showing you and we need to give the corresponding value and make if you give if you press the enter then obviously the va corresponding value will store into n okay now similarly n1 that means enter the number of samples in a period that is the sampling frequency that is given by n1 okay so this two command if you use the input then it will show in the corresponding computer screen then as uh, l equal to 2 to the power n as we know the relationship between uh, number of voltage level to the number of bits of pcm system that is l equal to 2 to the power n okay now here in this portion we define a sinusoidal signal whose max peak to max, whose maximum voltage voltage is 10 volt okay so here you can see that corresponding voltage is y equal to 10 into sin x now whenever we want to plot this sinusoidal function we need to define the x here here x you is corresponding to the time okay so we define time from 0 to 4 pi and we define the time instance uh, 1 by 100 that means 0.01 okay uh, yeah 0.01 so if we plot corresponding value we can get this signal analog signal okay it will show corresponding analog signal fine okay 
now coming to the uh, sub uh, coming to the uh, title you can see the title x level y level okay. now coming to the um, uh, discrete version now we need to make sample that means we need to convert the uh, input co input continuous signal continuous analogous signal into the discrete version so uh, from our earlier lab laboratory experiment Mm, we know that uh, to plot the discrete function in MATLAB, we need we can use the corresponding command stem. Okay, so stem basically used for to plot the discrete discrete value of a signal. Okay, so here you can see that the corresponding uh, signal is same, but here we can um, the corresponding timing instance are different. That means here we need to uh, n one number of n one number of sample n1 number of samples have to be selected so for that purpose the time span is same that is 0 from 0 to 4 pi here you can see that here also this is also from 0 to 4 pi but here you can see that you define the number timing interval by like this 2 pi by n1 where n1 is the number of sampling frequency okay or number of samples per period so basically what we need here as we already given that uh, you can see that 10 number of sample in a period or sampling frequency is 10 so let's see there are if there are 10 number of sample per period so you can see that this is from from this one to this one this is 2 pi okay so let's see so here you can see that the code is uh, 2 pi by n1 okay so in between a 2 pi span there are number of 10 number of samples let's count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so there are basically from here to here the, uh, there are 10 number of samples okay so like this so again we plot using stem command and we get this kind of figure okay now coming to the quantization process so after the sampling we need to uh, use the quantization process so basically here first of all we need to define the vmax and vmin or peak to peak voltage that is mp uh, in theory which is expressed by plus minus mp so here you use v max and v min is equal to minus v max that means 10 it is minus 10 so this one is the delta del, del so del is nothing but the step size okay okay or uh, interval quantization interval so this is v max minus v min divided by l okay now we define uh, a level between v min and v min that means number of level from v, uh, v min to del or v max okay now uh, then uh, we coded we coded it from our from our value v max and v min okay we define the range and then using this co co corresponding quantization command we can quantize the corresponding signal okay so in here int contain the index number and q contain the corresponding quantized value okay fine now what do we need to do we need to encode them okay so to make the index as binary decimal to start it from 0 1 so first of all here this one is for the corresponding uh, encoding version okay from i to 1 to l1 and from i um, from i oh, i equal to 1 to l2 here we need to make quantized value in between the levels so that we can use this corresponding formula and after that uh, we will plot corresponding value okay so using the step step uh, we, we we can plot the corresponding quantized value okay so here can uh, here you can see that uh, the figure yeah is you can see the figure so this one shows the corresponding quantized version so uh, normally you can see you can find that yeah there is no difference between uh, number of quantized level or uh, sorry quantized signal or sample signal but yeah there is uh, there is difference so suppose let's run it again so if we give uh, like 
3 bit PCM system and let's uh, reduce the number of sampling like this like 4 so let's see what happened yeah okay so you can see that yeah you can see that this one is a sampled signal where we number of uh, sampling frequency is 4 that means in between 2 pi there are only 4 number of sample instance uh, remain so after that we need we have used a quantization, quantization process so uh, n bit n bit pcm system okay n bit pcm system that means number of voltage level is 2 to the power n and 2 to the power 3 that means 8 number of voltage level can be used so here you can see that corresponding voltage level here exactly zero but here the, the quantized level has been changed corresponding value has been changed that means this signal represent the corresponding quantized value okay so however let's run it again uh, we define uh, 4 bit and we define 10 so corresponding bit will be smoother yeah definitely so we plot quantized version next we need to use the corresponding encoded version encoded pro encoding process so to convert corresponding decimal when i uh, sorry so here you can see that q consists of decimal value of voltage level like 10 points sorry 9.8 or 9.6 or 2 or 3 now we need to convert this voltage level into the corresponding binary value so for that purpose uh, there is a code like d 2 bi that convert the decimal to binary okay so you can convert the corresponding code into decimal to binary ind left msb okay so after that uh, uh, we, we need to convert the code matri code matrix uh, to a code row vector that means here uh, q consists of uh, suppose for a four number of uh, pcm system four bit pcm system so to the power four that means uh, uh, 16 number of voltage level so those all voltage levels are uh, showing in corresponding a matrix but uh, to represent them in or uh, to plot them we need to convert those this matrix into corresponding row so that we can see the corresponding value 1010 0, 0 like the like this so for this purpose we need to convert the code matrix to a code row coded row vector just we uh, we convert it like one like suppose two consecutive voltage level are 1000 0, 0, 0, and another is 1100 0, 0. so the row vector consists of 1000 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1100 0, 0 like this okay so just we need we convert the code matrix into the coded row vector okay now the encoding has been done so if we plot that value uh, yeah the, that value has been stored into the coded coded variable so as we don't use the semicolon so coded value has been displayed in the command window let's see what uh, yeah coded value has been shown like this so uh, our corresponding output is like 0 1 1 1 1 0 so here you can see that the first four voltage four bit shows the corresponding voltage level second four bit showing the second voltage level third okay like this so this way the how this will, will be continue like this as we are using four bit pcm system and 10 number of sample okay so yeah let's see after that we need uh, if you plot we want to plot uh, the corresponding coded uh, coded signal in uh, coded signal into uh, corresponding value 1010 1, 0 like this so we can use the corresponding stair function okay so if you use the stair function the corresponding output figure will be like this so basically this is 0 1 1 1 0 one 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 like this let's compare it let's compare it uh, like if you use the stair function so here you can see that this one is a zero next uh, one two three four five five consecutive one two consecutive zero and i think there is uh, six or seven number of one like let's count it one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so in between this there are 10 number of one will lies and then obviously two zero one one 
two zero one one here okay so it will continues like this so ultimately using this command that means we coded row vector if we want to plot coded row vector into a staircase approximation or look like this how it look like in the digital communication system so it will look like this okay fine so this one is the to uh, this one is the encoded signal you plot it using this command now if you want to demodulate the pcm signal that means if you want to extract or reconstruct the original signal from the corresponding encoded binary signal that means corresponding coded coded value if you want to extract the corresponding value so how can you convert so basically coded coded consists of uh, value 100 zero zero, sorry 1 1 and 0 so those are the binary number but uh, original signal consists of decimal number so we need to uh, again reconvert reconvert into the uh, from binary to decimal one so oh, so th these are the two commands that has been used so first of all we need to use the reset command so here we can see that if you use the reset command that means uh, uh, if we uh, where we convert the coded signal we convert the coded signal and you need to define also in okay that means uh, number of bits per voltage level and you need to also define the length by coded by n that means that is uh, total number of voltage level okay so here you can see that so you need to uh, define original encoded signal number of bits for voltage level or number of voltage level okay so after that we need to convert binary to decimal so here bi to de that means binary to decimal so if we convert the corresponding variable quint okay using this command so here it has been already come uh, into the corresponding decimal value but all the decimal value should be remain in between our voltage level that is in between plus v max and my sorry v max and v min so for that purpose we need to get back our quantized level we need to use this corresponding equation so after that we get the original signal here you can see that after this value we can get which is similar to the original one okay so let's see uh, here you can see that there is has been uh, deviation has been deviation at that point so let's run or let's uh, increase the number of samples and observe what will happen so let's give it four and number of sample per is like 20 20 okay let's see what will happen yeah you can see that the curve has been sharply smoothen okay and let's run again sorry let's run again uh, like uh, if you increase the uh, n bit pcm system in spite of using 4 bit let's run it using 8 bit okay and uh, suppose this one is a 10 also let's see how it will happen yeah we'll get like this okay so we can increase now we can increase both like uh, you use 8 bit and the sampling frequency is also 20 so what will happen let's see uh, you can see that the re now reconstructed or demodulated signal is almost similar to the analog signal okay there is very few deviation from the original one okay so first of all for a for a for an effective pcm system we need to use higher bit pcm system and as well as the sampling frequency should be high enough so that the demodulated or reconstructed signal from the encoded signal has the similarity as much as possible to the input signal okay so you can uh, use different number of bit pcm system and you can also change the corresponding sampling signal and observe the corresponding uh, output okay or also you can use different signal and observe how it behave how pcm has been behaved so this is one so this one is the input first of all the sampling one uh, sample signal next one is the quantization third one is the encoded and this one is the demonstrated signal so that's all okay so please try it in your home okay